want to meet one of the first Ryanair flights inbound to Fuerteventura from the East Midlands. We're going to interview some passengers for some information on how they found the flight and you'll find the video about that, those interviews, in the right hand corner now. Just click on the link. I'll also include the link in the information below for you. After the airport we're going to head into Coleta or Castillo to see what's open there now as the last video I did was over three weeks ago now and many more things have opened up since then so I'd like to share that with you. So stay with me, enjoy the drive. As always please don't forget to subscribe on the link below and let me have your comments. I love reading them and I will always respond and please give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Stay to the end and I'll share with you my favourite Italian aperitivo bar where for only eight euros you can get yourself a drink and you can fill your platter so you won't need any dinner. Great value for money and it's always lively with great music and fun people. I'll include a list of what is open in the information below this video for you. Please do let me know if there are other places to add to it and I will keep it updated. And if I've missed your business off, I apologise. Please let me know and I will update the list. We'll start at the top of the main street and straight away I can see that more things are open so that's really good to see. California is open but then it has been for a long time now. The Ohana lounge next door is also open. You can see the pharmacy lights shining in the distance. They are all open now and you can buy masks here so there's no need to bring them with you. I spoke to the owners of the Milo Steakhouse and they said they didn't know yet when they would reopen. Coletta Soul Bar and Kitchen looks closed. It's a cool place though with music, dancing and food. Aloha Gardens and Little Havana are open. It is a lively corner at night here. Shivam Indian and Kebab is open. Eat in or take away. The main one in the Atlantico Centre is also open now. Upstairs, the Flower of Scotland is opening soon. I spoke to John and he expects to be open by the end of July or early August. The King's is not yet open, but it's good for live music and cheap cocktails every evening until 9.30. Kilometre zero below it is closed, but the Cave Lounge and Café is open. Ofado Portuguese, it's closed tonight, but it has reopened and was busy last time I passed. Good news, down the side street, the Great Wall Chinese has opened up. The British Corner, of course, has been open for ages now down there. Hipodino Express Supermarket has also been open for a long time. In Los Arcos Centre, the Cafeteria Piscolabis has been open for a long time, but the Slow Boat Buffet is still closed. At the bottom of this road, the Aberdeen Angus is permanently closed now, apparently, and on the opposite side of the street, El Patio is closed, as is the Fusion 22 Tandori. Downstairs at Coletta Gardens, the popular Jane's Purple Lounge is closed, according to their Facebook page, and Royal Spices has been closed for some time and is up for sale. Fado Rock is due to open up again soon after a refurb, and my favourite Italian restaurant, Pumarola, Tomato, in Naples dialect, is open. You need to book this place, it gets really busy any night of the week as it's quite small. And you'll be well looked after by the all-male trio, the brothers Maurizio and Paolo, and Lorenzo the waiter. The food is really good and well-priced. It's well worth a visit. The step-in next door is also pretty lively tonight and most nights. Up at the top of Avenue del Castillo, the Hopscotch restaurant opened in a new venue just two weeks before lockdown. They are reopening this weekend, according to Kat, having expanded into Gambrinus, so get your table booked. Maybe you'll get to see the famous singing waiter. So now we're going to head down to the port area, passing the Barcelo Fuerteventura and the El Castillo shopping centre on the way. These are both still closed, but I have heard that the Barcelo Hotel will be opening in August and so I expect the shopping centre will then as well. So we can see that the Barcelo Castillo Beach Resort is now open. I think it's just opened up this last week. The car park looks quite full. So let's head down to the Puerto Castillo Barcelo and see what's happening down there. This is a really beautiful place to come in the evening to check out the big boats. There are some nice bars down here. The bar and restaurant on the front is open to the public, even if they belong to the Hotel Barcelo. It all looks open again now. It's quiet, but it is still early. The El Faro Lounge Bar upstairs here has a great view and a really cool vibe. It looks like it might be open already. If you walk along the seafront from here towards the Atlantico Shopping Centre, which is all open again now, you will see this amazing little bar out at the end of a walkway. Bar La Isla, 
appropriately named Island Bar. It's a really nice place to go for lunch in the sun. At the moment they are open just for drinks, but Benito says maybe from next week they will also be open for food from 12 till 9.30. Now we're going to check out the lively Puerto del Sol Square. There's quite a few bars here. It's still early, but things are starting to get going there with live music at Scott's Bar. It's happy hour there every day from 3 till 6. I think that's three hours. They must be very happy at the end of that. The Pickled Palm is open every day from 12 till late. They serve nice food, snacks and tapas. The Italian ice cream place is shut. Ascension was closed the night of filming, but it is opening on the 7th of July, so welcome back, Ascension. The saxophone bar has not yet reopened, but Nonna Lia is open if you fancy something Italian. As promised, we're going to head back to the Happy Centre now that it's a bit later and see what's happening on a midweek evening there. Opposite this and below the hotel is the World of Beer Place, or Tyrol. I've passed here a few times lately and it's always lively with some good music. Across the road at the Happy Centre, most things are open now. And if you come on a busy night, you'll see why they call it the Happy Centre. It's usually rocking. And there's lots of outside seating, which is nice. The sports bar on the corner has live football and snack food. The Trafalgar next door is closed at the moment, but it is open during the day. Fun in the Sun is open. Bar Goris and Bar Studs are all open. People are waving at us. Las Vegas at the end is closed and apparently is up for sale. You could imagine this on a busy evening with all that outside seating full of people having a good time. Across the road, my Tapas 1966 is closed. I couldn't get any info on the opening of that. They didn't answer the phone. Legends Nightclub is closed. I can't say I've ever been, but apparently they have really good live music seven nights a week. Next door to this, and up a million steps, is the Hong Kong Chinese, currently still only doing takeaways and home deliveries. Haveli Indian, next door, was open, but only for takeaways and again home deliveries when I passed. Bar Oliver Fly, next door to this and upstairs, is also open. Now, as I promised, at the beginning, I'm going to take you to a superb place to go on a Friday evening. From 6pm, for just €8, Euros, you get one drink and a free buffet. So Italian. You won't need dinner after their good spread. It's full of crazy, happy people and good music. Try it. So that's the Undici Cafe, run by Nicole and her team on Avenida José Franqui Roca. Right. They do amazing food all week and you should try their desserts. They're fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour of Caletta tonight. It's a lot busier, which is good. Tourists are coming back, so it's all positive. And I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching.